been uh, an awesome week, really enjoyed it. It's been uh, superb getting into another environment and having a look around, great connecting with Di, he's doing a great job and seeing him operating as a head coach is, is just beautiful to see. So, um, yeah, environment's lovely, great learning environment, meetings are lively, players are, players are leading and, and, and great collaboration, so it's, um, it was really nice to be in. Oh, it was great, you know, it's a, it's a fresh pair of eyes on our environment as a whole. It's a fresh pair of eyes from someone who's, you know, he's, he's been a head coach um, for the Scarlets for a short period before he moved on with a pretty decent team in the All Blacks and, and you know um, he's worked at that top table there and to get that feedback here and, and we want to be the best we can be so we want to keep bringing people in who can enhance us and Brad's first of hopefully many. We're all on a journey together, we're all trying to develop together. I challenge the players daily to get better and I also challenge myself to get better you know. Um, the opportunity arose through a relationship I have with Brad previously from our time together in the Scarlets and and as soon as sort of it all connected together and the timing worked, there was a great opportunity to get him up. And like I said, after I think it was a zebra game, it's important that I make sure that I'm getting better and I'm keeping myself open to the blind stops, blind spots that might appear, and making sure I'm across most things. And that's why he's over is to help me and help the environment hopefully grow. You obviously keep relationships and, and speaking with Di along the way from the last two, two and a half, three years since we worked together at Scarlets is. Um, been a constant conversation really and then um, with his move here and into a new role and he's a learner, massive growth mindset and, and just thought well is there any chance you can come over and, and uh, spend some time together so yeah, absolutely I, I have got time at the moment so uh, there's a good opportunity to to, um, to touch base and and, uh, and share some ideas. Look great, it's one of those things where it's a wonderful opportunity to see different environments and an awesome week last week with the American Raptors and um, in Denver, um, running quite a cool program with uh, a lot of American football uh, players learning rugby, so they're doing a great job there and, and, and trying to support the Eagles with their program. And um, so, again, different environment, different culture, different country. You're always learning, and, and then not you do this, and, um, and I was able to spend some time next week with the, with Eileen as well, which is uh, just an absolute privilege to be able to be in different different environments. Like I say, you're always picking little things up, always sharing ideas that then you get more back and um, great opportunity. Great, you know, it was it was great to see how open our boys are to getting better themselves and, and picking his brain, picking my brain, picking other staff's brain. But also, like I said, it's important that the players understand we're, we're on this together and we're all trying to get better here um, and we're challenging the players daily to own things I'm challenging my staff daily to own things and I'm challenging my staff daily to own things and get better I'm certainly keen to get more people in doing this block and Brad's the first of many hopefully and and I think I've said it previously no one knows everything and if they are they're dead and um, so it's important that I, I make sure I cover all my blind spots and things I can get better at, things the environment can get better at, things that um, players can get better at. And it was great just having that feedback that's very neutral, it, uh, there's no agenda behind it, and I'm sure we'll be better for it. Look at oh, he's just thriving. And, um, I had an idea what I'd, what I'd see when it came in, and, and, uh, and it's been absolutely uh, as expected and some. Um, like I said earlier, open environment, it's a, l a learning environment, um, you know, we talk as coaches about the players taking ownership for, for things on the field and games and you can see that that's the environment that's been set up here during the week to be able to grow that and make sure that that's, that's something that's happening Monday to Friday as well as uh, in the game. So uh, it's been superb. Players really open, uh, great to have conversations, meet some guys that you've only played against or coached against and to actually learn a bit more about them and their journey has been superb. So. Um, been a privilege and, and a really enjoyable week. Much appreciated, very grateful for it. Well, look, uh, having Brad over certainly gave most people a buzz. He's a great individual who sees the world the right way. I've said this many times before. He's very optimistic about about how everything works and you know, sharing our optimism in a place here in Gwent is great and I'm sure we'll thrive on the back of it.